that is y, y square, y cube, y5, y6, y8, y10 and y14. And if we fit this base function to our data set, it will give this curve. And as we can clearly see, there is a problem of overfitting. That is, your curve is locally fitting to your data set. If you extend your data set and if you take more and more example, said there is a possibility that uh, you will get exact curve. And uh, if you fit this kind of model to a data set, it will clearly overestimate. So this is a problem of overfitting. Now if you regularize this with L1 norm regularization with the uh, bias parameter 0.5 then you will get exactly this curve. Don't worry about the regularization as this will form the basis of our discussion in 4 lectures. In approximately 4 lectures we will consider the problem of only of regularization. So your L1 norm regularization can clearly overcome the problem of outliers. So the key points, greater is the degree of polynomial, more is the chance of overfitting. Prior knowledge about your task will definitely help you in the regression problem and regulation de definitely will remove the outliers or will reduce the impact in final fitting. So these are some key points and uh, as I already mentioned this that uh, regulation will form the basis of our discussion uh, approximately 4 to 5 lectures. So few more points, uh, these are these kinds of problems are known as linear model for regression because the underlying problem is linear in parameters however it is having non-linear basis. So the underlying problem is actually linear in parameters. I already mentioned this. The linear dependency on parameters will form the basis of analytical solution. We will see that we will get analytical solution like we got in x transpose x inverse x transpose y in problem of linear fitting same solution we will get here that is fx transpose fx inverse fx transpose y so if you are having problem to understand this derivation you can again switch to lecture 1 and there you just replace x by fx everywhere in the derivation you just replace x by fx and use the same explanations as were presented in that lecture. So there is a derivation. We assume that yi is h w of xi plus e. I already ex explained h w of xi. That is our hypothesis in the logistic regression lecture. So yi is your hypothesis plus some error function. And we assume that this error function is having normal distribution with zero mean and variance sigma squared where your hypothesis is w transpose f of xi so again if we form the likelihood and probability of y given fx comma w comma sigma square is product over r i n of y given h w f of xi comma sigma squared we take log on both sides and we will get this this is changed to summation and ln of n y i given x w f f x i comma sigma squared. So from here we will get this log likelihood is actually this and uh, forward minimization with respect to w this will be 0 and we will get this thing. Minimize with respect to w summation of all i from 1 to n y i minus hypothesis squared this is y minus f w f of x w transpose y minus f x w on the basis function is different on comparing this thing with the first lecture you will get that only the basis function is, is different that is in lecture 1 we had y that is in lecture 1 we had y minus x times w transpose y minus x times w and here we are getting y minus f x times w transpose y minus fx times w. So the analytical solution for this is w equal to fx transpose fx inverse fx transpose y. For derivation you can go to lecture 1 and just replace 
x with fx everywhere so only the difference is their f their x was x1 1 x j1 like x11 x21 x31 xj1 up to xn1 that is this is your xi training example likewise xi transpose this is this is x1 transpose likewise x2 transpose xi transpose and likewise xn transpose and here your fx is repre is, is representing f1 transpose f f of x1 transpose like f of x2 transpose f of xi transpose and up to f of xn transpose so this is the only difference you just replace x with fx everywhere so thank you for watching this lecture and please provide your feedback